but that is one perfect avocado. Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. I am a junior at Virginia Tech. But basically, um, today, I don't have too much going on. Basically, today, um, I have just studied and done my skincare routine. So I'll show you guys that right now. Okay, guys. So I just wanted to show you my skincare products that I've been using recently and what I use in the morning so if it's a quick morning this is what I'll use um, it's the Thayer's Witch Hazel this one's Rose Petal Cucumber one is good too put it on a cotton pad and then wipe it across my face and it just feels really refreshing or this cleanser just because it's really gentle and simple um, but lately I've been really into using the Classic Clean um, Noxima. So I've talked about this before in one of my videos. And this has Leuctaliptus in it. And I do feel like it really does deep clean my skin, makes it feel really refreshed. That's typically what I do in the morning. I keep it really simple. Um, and then of course before I put my makeup on, I'll moisturize with this one. But also, I kind of just wanted to sit down and tell you guys why I started a YouTube channel. So, if you don't know me, um, in sixth grade, I started a YouTube channel, actually. And it was kind of just for fun. I started it with my friend. And I'm not going to tell you guys what it is because it's kind of embarrassing. But um, maybe I'll insert a little clip of it here. It's kind of funny. That's one swipe. And this is a swipe onto another swipe. And that swipe... Which goes on to uh, that swipe. Well, I guess it still works. You get like a lime color. Like a really, really light lime color. If you do like so many swipes. So it's definitely really good. So then after that, I kind of just dozed out of that. I don't know. I was obsessed with YouTube though. Um, and then it was my freshman year of high school where I created a channel um, as well. A new one. And I wasn't very consistent with it. I would kind of post randomly random things but then it wasn't until this year that I decided I wanted to do it and I guess the main reason is because I just think it's fun I think it's a cool way to document your life I also really like um, I just really like editing I like putting together things I'm a multimedia journalism student so doing something like this is really fun um so yeah i think that's like the main reason and i love beauty i love fashion i love watching vlogs and it's just something that i decided hey why not um I, the first video i think i have on this channel is me going to new york to visit my boyfriend so the main reason that got me to do that is like i'm going to new york i should videotape it right and then after that i was like i'm just gonna keep doing it do weeks of my life i and then by then, I was kind of just uploading every Sunday. Um, not that I have that many videos out right now, but, you know. Um, so yeah, starting a YouTube channel, have I gotten any hate from it? Not to my face, but I know that people are either going to like it or they're not going to like it. And it's okay. Some people aren't into it. Some people are. Just like, I mean, when you start a YouTube channel, let's be real, it's not the best. I mean, I know my videos should be better. And they will get better but it all takes practice and I don't even know why I'm really saying this but I don't know I guess I just wanted to tell you guys what I started why I started one because I know a lot of my friends who like YouTube could start one themselves but I don't know they just don't and I feel like maybe pe people have questions like why did you start a YouTube channel and I guess the main reason is I just like watching them, so I knew I would like creating them. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So in a little bit, we are doing a little photo shoot with my friends and stuff. So I'll take you guys there. Um, this is what I'm wearing. I'll show you guys my outfit in a little bit. Um, but yeah, my days are kind of boring right now, just because. I'm gonna sneeze. Just because it is finals. 
I'm not doing a lot over finals. I'm not even really going to campus. I'm just sitting at a desk at a table and studying the whole day. So, yeah, but tomorrow I'm taking my final and I'm leaving. So I'm gonna do a little road trip with me sort of vlog. Um, could be interesting, could not be, I don't know. The thing with vlogging that I realized is you never really know if something's gonna be interesting or not, so just vlog. <laughs> because the other day something funny happened and I was like, could have vlogged that. Yeah. If you're wondering where my earrings are from, they're from Princess Polly. Love Princess Polly. So I just wanted to show you guys that it's pretty little thing. It's 50% off everything, um, excluding the sale and the beauty. And all you have to do is enter code 50. It's already on the website, but if you wanted to go check it out, I know I'm trying to figure out some stuff to wear for New Year's. What's also good is Pretty Little Thing has a lot of shoe options. If you didn't know, heels. And they're all pretty affordable. So if you're going to trash them, this is a good place. The store is so annoying. It never shuts. It's either because the magnet's bad or, oh my god, maybe it's this, no, or I have too many clothes, like it doesn't work, okay, well, whatever. Okay, so just to show you guys my outfit, this is what I'm wearing, um, this jacket is really cute because it has this little zipper and it's not a super thick denim jacket. It's pretty thin. It's more of just like a slouchy kind of thing. And then it has the fur right there. Uh, and this is like a half turtleneck, which I really like about it. And it has the little scallops and some lines going down. And this is from Tiger Mist. Both of these are. Um, these jeans are from PacSun, and then my shoes are Doc Martens. Um, so yeah, earrings, Princess Polly, and then I just curled my hair. Definitely, it's, emphasis is on the docks. The leg is this. Pop. <laughs> kind of looks like soba noodles or something. So here's the thing. There's not much flavor to it. So you definitely need some sort of sauce, but the texture of it's a little weird. It's like rubbery. So I'm gonna try black bean pasta again, but not the spaghetti version.